Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to step number 11 in how to create a Wix website. Now in this video guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how we can create a member login page where customers can go ahead and log in or sign up to our website. Okay, so this is a pretty cool functionality to have. So let's go ahead and see how we can create this using our Wix account. So let's go back to our Wix account. So once we're on our Wix account guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a button right here which says login and sign up. All right. So to do that, we're going to scroll over to our left side right here, select the second tab once again. And once we do that, guys, scroll over to our last option right here, which says more. So right over here, go ahead and click that. And then over here, guys, where it says site login buttons, we're going to go ahead and select this member login option and then just go ahead and drag and drop it. So once we have that done, guys, we're going to go ahead and place this in our header section by dragging it and attaching it to our header. OK, now once we have that done, guys, we can see that our text is blending in with our background. So we're going to go ahead and customize it to make it look like these buttons right here. So to do that, guys, we're going to go ahead and press this design option right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And over here, guys, the first thing we're going to go ahead and change in the settings option is our color. So I'm going to go ahead and put it as white. So now we can see we have our text available to us right here. Once you have a color in place, press this X button here. And the next thing we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to go ahead and give it a font size of 12. OK, so let's go ahead and do that. And once we have that done where it says theme over here, I'm going to go ahead and select a smaller theme of paragraph two. And there we go, guys. Now we have a nice looking sign up and login button, which matches the rest of our buttons right here. So once we have that done, let's go ahead and replace this over here and we're good to go. Now, before we do go ahead and move on, guys, once we have our settings in place, the next thing that I want to talk about is if we go ahead and press this settings option right here. And then over here where it says member sign up settings, if we go ahead and click that, we can go ahead and customize how we want our login and sign up page to look. So the first thing over here, we can see that when somebody logs in or signs up, do we want them to be manually approved by us or do they just become a member by themselves? So you can go ahead and select how you want to go about it. If you want to manually approve them, you can go ahead and select this option right here. OK, now over here, you can go ahead and select which you want to show first. So do you want the sign up page to show first or the login page? Now, this is completely up to you guys. I generally keep it at sign up. You can keep it at login if you want. And over here, you can go ahead and select if you want social logins like Google and Facebook. OK, so once you have these straightforward settings in place, you can go ahead and press this done button right here and we're good to go. So once we have these settings in place, guys, we can go ahead and press this publish button right here and let's give it a second. And then we can go ahead and press this view site button to see what our changes look like. So let's give it a second while it loads. So once we do that, guys, we will be directed to this page right here, which is our home page. And over here, we can see a login and sign up button. So if we go ahead and click that, guys, we should be directed to a sign up page. And there we go, guys. We can see that Wix has created this sign up page for us. And if we go ahead and press this login button right here, we will be directed to a login page. So that's pretty cool. Now over here, guys, customers can go ahead and put in their information and sign up to your site. Now, before recording this video, guys, I went ahead and created a test account using the sign up page. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So if we go back to our Wix account right here, let's go ahead and press this X button over here and let's go over to our Wix dashboard. So once we do that, guys, we will be directed to this page right here, which is our Wix dashboard. Now, if you recall, guys, I went ahead and created a test account using the sign up buttons over here, guys, we will get a notification saying that, hey, this new person has now become a site member. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you want further information, guys, you can go ahead and press this view contact button here or you can simply scroll down to where it says contact and you can go ahead and press this manage contacts button. So once we do that, guys, we will be directed to this page right here where we can see the new person that signed up to our website and we can see that right here. This is the test account that I went ahead and created. OK, so that's pretty cool. So once you have that done, guys, you can go ahead and select this particular member right here. And then you can go ahead and do things like create an invoice. You can go ahead and block the member. You can go ahead and send them an email, delete them or put them in a group. OK, so that's pretty cool. Now, if you went ahead and select manually approve each person that signs up to your website, you can go ahead and press this request option right here to see which customers went ahead and signed up to your website and you can go ahead and approve them manually over here. So that's how you can go ahead and, you know, accept and see who's on your website. So that's pretty cool. So with that said, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you learned how you can go ahead and create a member login page and I will see you in the next video.